is like a child who trusts his father dear, and who delights to feel his presence near. Just like a child whose mind is not a doubt, and whose heart is never proud. Here I come, O oh Lord. Here I come, just like a child. Here I come, O oh Lord. Here I come, just like a child. Give peace, O Lord, to those who wait for you, that your prophets be found true. Hear the prayers of your servant and of your people, Israel. Name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, good morning to all of you. Good morning, good morning, Father. We have come with grateful hearts to the presence of the Lord, to live our life pleasing to God. As we are entering into this Thanksgiving Eucharist, Today, let us remember and pray for the following people. P. Nisi, Nuthans, success in neat exam offered by P. Kennedy and family. Birthday blessing upon Chinisha Diara. Good health and bright, further good health for Lucy Mark offered by family members. Today, Catholic Hub TV family members, birthday, Margaret Rita, Joshua, John, Anita, Luis, Maria, Joseph, Jagadish, Manasa, Prashant, Reddy, and Naveen. For the soul of Anthony Raj, offered by Mary Stella and children. For the soul of Anthony Raj, offered by James and Shalini. As we are entering into this Eucharistic celebration, let us recollect our minds that we have relativized many a times of faith because of the consumeristic attitude towards life and also individualism which has crept into ourselves. Added to that, today we have more no face-to-face -face interactions, but screen-to-screen -screen interactions. As a result, we have entered into virtual lives. Hence, these virtual lives are making us very, very artificial. This artificiality sometimes leads to ritualistic performance. And there is a possibility of becoming too ritualistic in our lives. Hence, let us look into ourselves, drawing inspiration from the woman who washed the feet of Jesus with her tears. Tears, usually we say, have 1% of water and 99% of emotions. Tears of joy, tears of sorrow, Therefore, they about from our viscerals. This is a kind of a visceral expression to the situation, to the persons. And in the case of this woman, a sinful woman, when she saw Jesus, she was viscerally expressing her joy and gratitude. When we come into the house of the Lord, do we have that kind of joy and gratitude so that we go out to live the good news? For the times we were not very ritualistic and for the times we have commercialized 
because of consumerism that has become part and parcel of us and because of individualism, let us ask the Lord to forgive us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Chapter 15, verses 1 to 11. I would remind you, brethren, in what terms I preach to you the gospel which you received, in which you stand, by which you are saved, if you hold it fast, unless you believe in vain. For I deliver to you as a part of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve, then he appeared to more than 500 brethren at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me. For I am the least of the apostles, unfit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace towards me was not in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I, but the grace of God which is with me. Whether then it was I or they, so we preach and so you believed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response shall be, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Alleluia, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his love has no end. Let the sons of Israel say, his love has no end. Our response, give, give thanks, thanks to, to the, the Lord, Lord, for he is good. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me up. I shall not die, I shall live, and recount his deeds. Our response, Give, Give thanks, thanks to, to the, the Lord, Lord, for he is good. good. You are my God, I thank you. My God, I praise you. I will thank you, for you have given answer, and you are my Savior. Our response, Give, Give thanks, thanks to, to the, the Lord, Lord, for he is good. Kindly rise for the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah to the Lamb, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, by the blood of Christ we stand, every tongue, every tribe, every people, every land, giving glory, giving honor, giving praises to the Lamb of God. Giving praises to the Lamb of God. And with your spirit. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Lord. 
her sins which are many are forgiven for she loved much chapter 7 verses 36 to 50 one of the pharisees asked jesus to eat with him and he went into the pharisees house and sat at table and behold a woman of the city who was a sinner when she learned that he was sitting at table in the pharisees house brought an alabaster flask of ointment and standing behind him at his feet weeping she began to wet his feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head and kissed his feet and anointed them with the ointment now when the pharisee who had invited him saw it he said to himself if this man were a prophet he would have known who and what sort of woman this is who is touching him for she is a sinner and jesus answering said to him simon i have something to say to you and he answered what is a teacher a certain creditor had two debtors one owed 500 dinari and the other 50 when they could not pay he forgave them both now which of them will love him more simon answered the one i suppose to whom he forgave more and he said to him you have judged rightly then turning toward the woman he said to simon do you see this woman i entered your house you gave me no water for my feet but she has wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair you gave me no kiss but from the time i came in she has not ceased to kiss my feet you did not anoint my head with oil but she has anointed my feet with ointment therefore i tell you her sins which are many are forgiven for she loved much but he who is forgiven little loves little and he said to her your sins are forgiven then those who were at table with him began to say among themselves who is this who even forgives sins and he said to the woman your faith has saved you go in peace this is the good news of the lord for us today praise, praise to you o lord, lord jesus christ. christ dear brothers and sisters in christ today the beautiful passage is reminding us to look into ourselves to look into our attitudes to life to others and to god and to life gift of life itself because perceptions and attitudes matter a lot there is a possibility of commercialization of life commercialization of relations and commercialization of hospitality today the pharisee is commercializing his hospitality to the lord he has commercialized he was very good he had given a beautiful spread perhaps the best spread in and around the town perhaps it may be a moral spread but lord was not pleased with that today we are into that he is asking us when we invite somebody are we relating to them in relationship is there a kind of a bargain if there is a bargain in the relationship there is no possibility of continuity there is no possibility of living it out joyfully and happily and hopefully because hope is part and parcel of our faith love is part and parcel of our faith if love and hope are devoid of faith then that faith is not pleasing to god today we see the pharisee is very much eulogizing himself and he is labeling the woman 
very interestingly for the pharisee the simon the woman's identity is written on forehead and he was able to read but the lord is going beyond it and he was entering into the heart because of the perception the perception matters a lot how do i perceive my own self how do i perceive my siblings how do i perceive my friends how do i perceive my relations how do i perceive my colleagues in my working place my perception matters a lot since the lord was able to penetrate the grateful heart of the woman he was able to see the woman's beauty not the sinfulness whereas the pharisee failed to penetrate into the beauty of the person because of his very unhealthy perception and attitudes he was only seeing the externality of sinfulness he failed to understand what was that compelled her to a become a sinful person if we understand the surroundings and the compulsions and the situations which forced her into sinfulness then we will have empathy not sympathy today the lord is expressing the empathy and it is not it is a model for repentance today we must see the lady the sinful lady she is so courageous definitely as it happens to today when we have a grand reception for whatever function for whatever occasion we will be always having a security and security will not allow an ordinary person to enter in unless there is an identity today our identity is associated with digitalized life not the person even when person is standing live in our in front of us we always look at the id today the lord is saying yes that may be good but you must go beyond that requires a lot of courage and humility this woman had a courage to break the barriers and go close to the lord the moment she came to know that lord is around and she had the humility to be ashamed in front of the public because she enjoyed the forgiveness of the lord and that's why today we have the lord says those who are forgiven little will be forgiving little and their perceptions will not be healthy forgiveness is not that easy but it is possible it is possible we are tired of asking for forgiveness from the lord because we are by quick fixed ideas we want instantaneous results but the lord is allowing us a process lord is more interested in the process and preparation am i into the process process takes end product leave to the lord am i allowing the lord to act this lord to act upon me lord to accompany me and lead me that is more important that's why if you remember pope francis when he was interviewed soon after his election how do you identify yourself he said i am a sinner a forgiven sinner i am a sinner a forgiven sinner that is the kind of faith that you and i need to because we are fragile we are limited sometimes we forget we don't want to have a complementary role in our lives but we enter into a complaining mode and therefore the pharisaic attitude is always finding fault and complaints whereas the woman and the lord is telling us complimenting is the need of the hour today and she is once we enter into the process of realization and seeking for forgiveness then we are liberated 
No rules and no regulations we are required for us. This particular complaining mode is due to individualism, due to relativization. I know everything, what on earth? Why should I follow this? Why should I subscribe to this gentleman or that woman? This kind of attitudes always scuttle our growth and maturity. Yes, we always have a standards, but quality is missing in us, quality of life. Today, today the Lord is saying, yes, standards are good, but without quality, it is a useless coin valueless coin. A rupee is value, valuable only when there is head and tail. We either hang on to head or tail. Today the Lord is asking us to bring these two together onto the balance. So let us pray for the grace that we be humble and courageous enough like the woman and enjoy the tears of joy and tears of gratitude which about because of the experience of his forgiveness and his accompaniment. May we also grow in repentance, forgiving others and getting forgiven by others because we are forgiven by God. And let us also learn to forgive ourselves. Sometimes forgiving self is very difficult. We think I have forgiven but we are just sleeping over it. There are so many occasions, there are so many events, there are so many people. In fact, we are hurt by people who are close to us, not somebody who, are, who is in the street. It is the person who is within me, around me, 24 hours who is interacting with me. Therefore, today the Lord is reminding us, let us learn from this sinful woman. Lord is there, ever willing to receive us. You see, she was so joyful and grateful, she did not mind to give her best. Did not Abel give the best when Lord has blessed him? Did not the poor woman give her the best which would prick her and which would deny a meal for her? Did she not give because she experienced the accompaniment of the, um, the Almighty, this kind of personalized experience is more important rather than a ritualized practice. So let us pray for that grace. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. This bread and wine, take our hearts and make them die. Take our war and our anxiety, give us life and liberty. Change this bread into your body. This wine into your blood, change our lives, make us united, Lord, to spread the love of Christ the Lord. Lord, accept this bread and wine. Take our hearts and make them thine. Take our world and our anxiety. Give us life and liberty. Change this bread into your body and this wine into your blood. Change our lives, make us united, Lord, to spread the love 
of Christ the Lord. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice into your hands for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor on your supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created human person, and when human person was justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed the human person through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the val virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess, profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come again. again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Robert Bellarmino, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis of Pope, Tumabala of Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. 
through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with us always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other with sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring us to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for us protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to participate in this Eucharistic meal. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. All the time He put a song of praise In this heart of mine God is good All the time Through the darkest night His light will shine God is good God is good All the time If you're walking through the valley and there are shadows all around do not fear he will guide you he will keep you safe and sound for he has promised to never leave you nor forsake you and his word is true god is good all the time he put a song of praise in this heart of mine god is good all the time through the darkest night his light will shine god is good god is good all the time Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. How precious is your mercy, O God! The children of men seek shelter in the shadow of your wings. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift to our Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies 
so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to thank and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be to, God. to God. Great and mighty is the Lord our God. Great and mighty is He. Great and mighty is the Lord our God, great and mighty is He. Lift up the banners, let the anthem rise to Christ our King.